In the following lesson, we're going to look at scatter plots and lines of regression. And one way to analyze scatter plots is to look at the correlation, the relationship between the two values. And so there are three different types of correlations that exist. We have a strong positive correlation, which means that if I were to plot my X and Y data on the axes, I would see that they kind of form a line that has a positive slope. So the data itself resembles a line and has a positive slope. We say then it has a strong positive correlation. The strong part refers to how close the data is to the line, and the positive part refers to the slope of said line. So if I have a strong negative correlation, we kind of do the same idea. This time, since it says negative, then the data I'm plotting will look similar to a negative line, a line with a negative slope. So if I were to kind of imagine a line splitting this data and going down, I see that it has a negative slope. And so a negative, strong negative correlation, again, strong is based off how close the data is to the line and negative referring to the slope of said line. And so we have a positive correlation, strong positive correlation, and a strong negative correlation. We also have something that's called no correlation. There's no obvious relationship between the data. And what this looks like is your points are randomly sporadic all across the x, y axis. You know, I cannot draw a line. They do not form a positive line. They do not resemble it. They don't resemble a negative line. There is no obvious relationship. So that is a no correlation. And so we're going to examine, based off some application problems, what that means for a data set to have a strong correlation. How does the x value affect the y value? Uh, same with a negative correlation. What does it mean with an application problem, how an x value affects a y value for this? So those are the three type of correlations that we will be examining in this lesson on scatter plots and linear regressions.